to motocross movies, flesh wound films make some of the best. Why are they called flesh wound? You'll see, it's not for the squeamish. Flesh wound came from basically a lot of wipeouts that we were putting together on the, on yeah. the first film, and I was like, it's just naturally, it's, it's just flesh wound. It all started with uh, Brian Manley was introduced to Jeez. me through Dana, and uh, Brian was always looking at our snowboard films. We'd take him out, and he'd go snowboarding with us, and, and then we'd go play ride in the desert. And uh, first time I saw those guys, how far they could jump off sand dunes. wow, this is something pretty cool. So we started hanging out and doing that. And uh, from there, I started putting bits and pieces into Creatures of Habit, which was my uh, snowboard series. And people were like, yeah, I want to see more of that kind of stuff. So we started going on more desert trips and buying bikes and just getting into it. And uh, it just one thing led to another. And all of a sudden, we were making a film. Geez, when that first movie came out, like. People didn't know what to think with the whole dirt bike uh, twist on the, like the snowboard twist into the dirt bike. The name came from, you know, being out in the desert and just getting sand in every orifice and you're just picking all this <laughs> stuff out and that's the crust. And where are we playing? in the dirt. We didn't have any distribution. There was no film of that caliber. It didn't, so nobody knew what it was. We'd call a shop and they'd be like, uh, we don't sell videos or anything, you know, if it's not like a race tape or something like that. Because kids were walking in going, hey, you got this crusty tape? So it kind of just went word of mouth. We've done 10 crusty videos. We're on our best of right now, which is the Chaotic Chronicles. We're usually looking for like some of the wonders of the world too. Like the <laughs> Mayan ruins, the Inca ruins in Machu Picchu, the Easter Island heads, of course. And those are not that we want to go on these sacred lands and do anything destructive, but to have those things in the background and ride up in these interesting jungles and things like that, it just makes for kind of a unique story uh, to put on film. We have a tour in Australia that's like, uh, we eventually work its way through here. We've been doing these tours for the last few years, and uh, yeah, that's a traveling. It's been doing great. Motorcycle stunt show kind of thing. People down there wanted to see the movie live. We went down there, took the guys, and and uh, started doing shows. And people were just coming out of nowhere. And they, it turned out to be like 15,000 people at these at these shows. Um, we just did one recently. The 25,000 people came out. Bob was kind of a racer guy, but we turned him into a funny character. It's just right out of the gate. This whole hick thing that he put on, you know, he's a natural character. It just kind of it fell into place, you know. You boys drink all my land? Fix and get your ass I'll show you boys how to get down this hill. Bob can actually ride a bike, and he can actually, you know, get the whole shot. <laughs> That's how you go down a hill, boy. I would say that uh, we would love to move into feature films. Um, we have probably about three scripts already, and uh, just um, I would love to just kind of take it to that next level. These fil films are real fun, and we'll probably just keep making these. As long as people want to watch them, we'll probably just keep making them.